Hello, Captain Don here, W8CPT from Amateur Radio with W8CPT. Uh, what I'm doing here is I'm trying out a, uh, what is it, Evolve 3 uh, $79 laptop at Micro Center. If you have a Micro Center near you, you can order it online, pick it up, wait in a huge long line, because it was terrible. I, I went the day after Christmas <laughs> and pick it up at the internet pickup. But anyway, it's a $79 laptop. It charges on 12 volts, so you can charge it with a 12 volt adapter. I, I'm making one, I'll do a video on that too. Uh, but right now it's charged up. It was at 98% when I started. I've had some video technical difficulties here, but we're ready to go. The Yezu FT710 field. So here we are. You can see I've got amateur contact log, hammers for POTA, logging, TQSL. Sat PC32 for my satellite Star Trek rotor. Haven't tried that yet. Hopefully this laptop will do it. If not, I got my other one still. JTDX and grid tracker. Here is the laptop. Okay, I have grid tracker up right now. We're gonna be doing 50, or 20 meters, so I'm gonna flop that to 20 meters. And that's all of my contacts, but if we switch to digital, there's a lot less. I don't do as much digital, but we're starting off with digital just to see. So I'm going to minimize this because I already got it set up. So now with this JTDX, the settings that you need, um, in case you don't know, for the DX10, you select your DX, or I mean the 710. I have a DX10 at home too. Um, FT710, your COM, you look that up in the device manager. Your baud rate to match your radio. Then 8, 2, default, cat, none, none. And then you can test cat. And you see that you get a green light. And then you test PTT. And you see the radio's working. Um, so you're all set. So you hit OK. All right, there we go. Now we got it working. Enable transmit. I am going to be calling out to N7LD in a second here. Okay, he's making a, a contact. So let's find K3NOQ. It looks like it's actually working. There we've got... Um, We've got a contact going. See if he answers me. He's a negative 20. Um, chances are he might not answer me because he's a negative 20. But we'll give it a shot. And while we're at it, we'll see if... Here's one that did 73 with a negative 11. Let's switch to that one. Uh, so far, he hasn't answered me. We might want to, well, here, let's go to this guy. He's CQing. So, Grid Tracker is popping up the call sign lookup. So, that's good. We're going to give this uh, KD2 Whiskey India Romeo a shot while I'm looking at this. So, I got this 20 meters. It's decoding and everything up in the corner, so it seems to be running good. So now, I set all these logging up here. Um, you're going to have to do it with your keys and everything. But you're going to want to test to make sure all these are passing that you entered in. Oh, that one's still testing. I don't know why I hit it. Okay, it passed. EQSL, passed. Logbook of the world, passed. Test EQSL, that passed. All right, so we got a pop-up. Um, we're making a contact, I believe. Let me see where. All right, so Kilo Delta 2, Whiskey India Romeo gives me a negative 6. He was at a negative 9. And there's the RRR, so I can log the contact. So, we have seen that it gave me a little bit of an issue. 
But the Evolve 3 runs JTX just fine. And it runs Grid Tracker. It's just a small screen, so you gotta juggle back and forth. So there is my 73. There's a Voda on here. Let's see if we can get this Voda. Volunteers on the air. Alpha Charlie Zero W. Let's see if he answers me. He's an EN33. Um, I'm an EN82, so it's not super far from me, but let's see if he answers me. Yep, he answered me, a negative five. All right, thank you very much, uh, Alpha Charlie Zero W. Um, you are in a YouTube video, and I'm not doing voice, so I can't let you know that, but you're helping me out, showing that this $79 laptop works with JTDX. All right. So we'll wait till we finish this contact, and I'm going to switch to amateur contact log. And so there we finish that QSO. So now I'm going to, well, I want to make sure I get the 73s back from him. I don't think I need it because I made the contact, but I'm going to wait until it done all the way here and I'm CQing again all right there it is we're done so I am going to close this stuff down because I'm done with uh, FT8 I'm going to go back to I'm going to go to single sideband, but I use amateur contact log when I'm logging. So we're going to open that up and we got to configure that. So here it is. Should pop up with my grid square and everything. All right, that's all correct still. So now we go up here to settings. There we go. Ugh. Okay, so settings and rig settings. So now we have to find Yezu 710, which I don't think it has. But the newer two was the one that seemed to work. And over here I gotta pick my baud rate, it's 38.4. Um, I'm not sure if I change anything here. I know it says select the com, I didn't do that. Com 7. And then hit test. Maybe it's com 8. Let's try that. There it is, Kami. So there we go. And it's on Digi right now, which we don't want Digi. So I'm going to switch it to upper side man because we're going to try 20 meter first. And I'm going to, should be changing the channel. I'm going to go up to you. All right. So we're getting the radio ready for single sideband. This is definitely okay. So it does the rig control for this. So let's, uh, you know what? Let's go to a POTA. I can close all this. These were my help videos. Probably gonna have to log into this. I haven't done it on this laptop either. But so far, you know, it's a small little laptop. It seems to be working great for everything I do. Um, portable operations, POTA, whatnot. Um, I do have to sign in here. Um, I, actually, I probably don't have to, but I want to. All right. Which means I'm probably going to have to confirm it with my phone. And my other phone was dead. I'm using my spare phone right now. Well, I'm logged in. I didn't log me in. What the heck? There, I'm logged in now. All right, so let's select 20 meters. There's 54 people on 20 meters. And we want phone, because we're going to use some phone contacts now. Calling CQ. So let's try 
245. That's North Carolina. Hey, Roger, Roger. I'm just waiting for you to watch. Nice to see you out there. Thank you for coming. 73. All right, 73. Hey, Roger, Roger. Roger, Roger. Whiskey 8, Charlie Papa Tango. Whiskey 8, Charlie Papa Tango. Whiskey 8, Charlie Papa Tango. I don't we got you a 5-9 here in North Carolina, QSL. Uh, QSL, QSL, 5-9 here in Michigan. Mike India, thanks for the activation. Good luck and 73. Roger, Roger. Happy New Year, 73. Happy New Year. <laughs> All right, so I um, made that QSO. He's going to log it because it's POTA, but I always log my POTAs. And in the comments, um, where's he at? There he is. I always put the park number. There he is. K2746. Two seven four six. All right, so we're gonna log him, and then I'm gonna be nice, and I'm gonna find him. November zero, November Mike. And respot him. Okay. Now I forgot. I don't have this set. The rate. I usually have this on IPO. That's on, that's auto. Okay, so everything, no, this, yeah, on, okay. All right, so our logbook is working. Um, what I like doing, because I heard that there was some Hawaii stations on on my ham alert, I like putting the sort on region. That way, if there's any Alaska or Hawaii's, they show first, or um, out of your area. So let's let's make one more contact. Uh, do we want to try California? Let's see if California's on. So it's three twenty-two. Oh, see, look at that. I'm on, I was on 15 watts, too, with that last QSO. <laughs> That's pretty cool. Okay, so now he'll probably hear me. Ooh, I thought that was uh, thunder for a minute there. Whiskey 8, Charlie Papa Tango. Whiskey 8, Charlie Papa Tango. I got you about a 4x3 here in Michigan, Mike India. QSL, QSL, thank you very much for the activation. Happy New Year and 73. So... We're going to put that in the log. So, and he was in park K3563. And I put the park number here whenever I log POTUS. And I hit log contact. All right, well, let me turn this down. So I don't know if we're going to be able to see it very well, but I'll show you. I'm using a, the Chelians MC750 antenna. Um, there it is. 20 meters. I'm right next to a power line, as you can see. That doesn't seem to affect me too much. Anyway, so that's what I'm using. Yezu 710. And amateur contact log. So let's see, I'm having fun doing this. I'll make a couple more contacts that we can put on here. Georgia, let's try 307. 
Whiskey 8, Charlie, Papa, Tango. Okay, Whiskey 8, Charlie, Papa, Tango. You're 590 and 7456. QSL, you are 59 in Michigan. Thank you very much for the activation. Happy New Year and 73 to you. Okay, here's Chandra. This is Kilo Delta 4, Bravo Beach, Golf. You're 59, Georgia. Thanks. So you can't park right here. This is Kilo Charlie 4, Tango, Big Two, Zulu. Hey, this is Kilo Delta 4, Bravo, Victor Golf, you're 5, Kilo Delta 4, Bravo, Victor Golf. Kilo yeah, Delta Kilo 4, Echo Bravo, Echo Victor Echo Golf. Kilo Echo 3. So that was a double, that's what that was. Uh, yeah, no, you kind of saw that by me when I butchered your call sign. It's a 2 or a 3. Whiskey 8, Charlie Papa Tango. Charlie Papa Tango, uh, what's the rest of the call sign, please? Whiskey 8, Charlie Papa Tango. Whiskey 8, uh, 4x4, and this is QSL, QSL, I got you 4x4 in Michigan, Mike India, and thank you for the clean sweep on all POTA states. Uh, Happy New Year and 73. Yes.